All right, well, unless you're living under a rock or a cave, uh, New Year's Eve is tomorrow night, and you can give your New Year's Eve a more personal touch. Our North Park Craft Mafia members, Savannah and Karen, joining us here to give us some ideas on crafty ways to help celebrate the New Year's. And ladies, happy almost New Year to you. Happy almost happy New Year to you. Year. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I'm, I'm not saying I've never uh, ended up with a lampshade on my head uh, you know, on New Year's before, but let's talk about hats. Hats yes. are a fun way to go, and you've got a way to personalize them and give them that extra flair. Yes, and you know, this is really easy to do. Kids can do it. You know, what I was thinking of, you know, top hat, like traditional New Year's Eve kind of, yeah. you know, fun stuff. So what I did was I took a poster board, 99 cent poster board, and I cut it into a strip. And what I did was um, I measured your head before the segment, so <laughs> we can actually make this hat a pretty good for size you. head, don't I? Yeah, yeah, pretty good size. Pretty good size. <laughs> and so what I did was I cut the strip and we're going to use this paper which is sticker paper and I just cut out the letters I drew with a pen backwards the letters and just cut them out so if you want to cut this out I will and with this these I made a bow with little triangles and it's real easy shapes that you can make you just put them together and it's a lot of fun Svea, where do you get the sticker paper? You can find, you probably could go to a sign store if you just ask them that you'd like to purchase some vinyl tape paper or vinyl sticker paper. Because they usually print a lot of their signs with that stuff. So it's actually a really, you know, inexpensive thing to do. Or you can get them in sheet, smaller sheets at craft stores. Okay. So any kind of craft store should have it. And the trick is to get these suckers apart. <laughs> Let's see. Ah. Got it. So then you can just put it right there for 2009. Okay. Here we go. So nice. So then what I did was I took a 12 by 12 square. You could mm -hmm. also use scrapbooking paper if you wanted to. Cardstock. Cool. I'm going to let you finish that, and we'll get the hat all ready. Okay. Because I don't want to run out of time. Karen, you have some special glasses that uh, right. we can make before we do our special toast. Right. right. So to personalize your own champagne flutes, what I'm using is etching cream. And what the trick with etching cream is it's going to etch everything that you don't have taped down. So as you can see with these, the inside is taped so that you don't frost the inside, and the bottom is taped so that you don't frost the stem. And then you just put stickers on wherever you want it. How etching cream works is that it bites into the glass. And so this would, you would put this on, you'd leave it on for 15 minutes, and then you would run it under water, and it will uh, wash, wash all the etching cream off, and what you'll be left with is a pattern. That is really neat. It's basically making your design permanently uh, right. etched into this glass here. And the cool thing about etching is that etched glass doesn't show fingerprints. Oh, <laughs> I know most parents would love that. So we have some glasses that were right. designed here. So this one here, this one is the finished product of that. Right. So all I put on these was just some kid stars. And when it comes out, it does come out really pretty. This one here, what I used was letters. And so I've made the word cheers on the glass and so when you pull it off you've got a little word you what can put hooray or yay yeah. or whatever and what a fun project to do with your kiddos tonight or even you know tomorrow night just something that you can do to get them into the new year spirit right it's really quick to do and it's really really easy yeah so total time would you say about 30 minutes uh probably less than that less than 30 <laughs> that is great okay so we're talking about uh doing the etched glasses we also have some hats here and uh besides doing some fun new year stuff you guys do cool stuff all year round That's when right. is the next um not craft day on a Sunday and what are you guys going to be doing? We are going to have a craft night so people can come and actually craft with us. So it's really a good chance to meet us, have fun, learn how to do some creative stuff. That's coming up in January. That's great. It's uh, January 27th on a Tuesday at the Filter Coffee House. Yes. You said that's going to be an evening one. Do we do we know what time that one's going to be yet? That one is going to be um, I think from 7 to Nine. Seven to nine. Seven to nine. All right. Do we look hot in our hats? Are we New Year's Absolutely. Eve worthy? Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right. North Park Craft Mafia. Thanks, you guys, so Thanks. much. You Thanks. come in all the time. You have ways that uh, you can help other people be crafty, get their uh, crafts out there in the community, yes. and help support other artists, yes. too. Absolutely. We have our shows that we have. We're going to have holiday shows this year. Ooh. And then a couple big ones in the spring sounds, and the fall. Sounds good. All yeah. right. Happy New Year, Karen and Spade. Good to have you guys on. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I think Thank the head's me, right?